A very good day to our lecturer, Dr. Zambri. My name is Kok Hong, lecturing number 285239. So I will begin the presentation for our group project for real-time programming. Uh, we are from Group Power Ranger. So I will, I will begin by presenting on for our abstract. So the title of our application is Real Track Issue System. This project provides a comprehensive solution for real-time monitoring and also analysis of GitHub issues using a number of tech stacks, which includes Apache Kafka, Spring Boot, Docker, and also the Google Cloud Platform. The primary objective of this project is to seamlessly collect GitHub issue data, perform basic processing, and also present the meaningful insights to the user through a Telegram bot. In our project, we utilize Apache Kafka as a distributed streaming platform to enable efficient and scalable data communication between the GitHub data producer and also the consumer applications. By utilizing Kafka's messaging capabilities, real-time data changes can be captured, which will allow for prompt responses to changes in the GitHub issues. How the pro how our application works is that the producer application, which is developed using Spring Boot, will fetch and stream the GitHub issues data into Kafka topics, while the consumer application or the Telegram bot will process the incoming data and extract the relevant information for subsequent analysis, such as listing out the user and the word counts in the issues. Furthermore, the entire application is also containerized using the Docker to enhance ease of deployment and also ensure the consistency across different working environments. This method, which encapsulates the program and its dependencies into separate containers, will enable smooth deployment and also reduce the possibility of comp compatibility problems. Last but not least, our project adopts cloud-native practices by deploying the containerized application to the Google Cloud Platform. This will help in ensuring high availability, scalability, and also reliability of the application. And the GCP's managed services and strong networking capabilities will also streamline the deployment process and as well as providing a reliable environment for the real-time GitHub issue monitoring system. Okay, good day, doctor. My name is Zuel Isak and my metric number is 285626. So I would like to present about the producer application of our system. So we have two producer application and doctor, you can see uh, pro Kafka producer one and Kafka producer two in our system. So, um, okay, uh, in this uh, producer application, we have some uh, directory and in the directory, we have some class that used to uh, run this uh, producer applications. So we go to the entity uh, directory first. Okay, in the entity directory, we have issue class, uh, which is used to store the data uh, received that, that received from the GitHub issue API. And then we move to the GitHub API directory. So this directory, we have four classes, and the first class is uh, app, conf, uh, app config uh, classes. It's used to define the spring bin for the REST template. And then uh, for the second class is a uh, fence data controller. So this class is used uh, help us to use uh, to handle the HTTP request that sent for, uh, by the consumer apps. And then um, doctor can see in the line uh, 24, which is the code that handle the fence request. And then we move to the line 26, which is the process data. And after that, it will send the data to the Kafka with the line the code in the line 28 and then after that at the end it will return a response to the consumer or the client so we move to the github api connector uh, class and this class is used to connect to our fans the issue data from the github uh, issue api mm. then uh, doctor can see in the line code of the line in the line 28 which is the api uh, URL of the GitHub that uh, connect the our Kafka produ uh, producer applications with the uh, GitHub Hub issue processor class. Okay, this class is used to uh, transform the JSON data to the list of the issue object and uh, the vice versa. So method of the extract issue data list and this method is used to convert the JSON data to the uh, list of the issue object. Then we move to the Kafka producer directory. Okay, uh, the first class of this uh, directory is a uh, Kafka producer config. So uh, this 
Kafka producer config is used to manage the Kafka configuration and the second Kafka me uh, message publisher is used to send a message to the Kafka uh, topic then we move to the app runner uh, class okay this class uh, we are used this class to execute uh, this class is to be executed when the application is uh, is start so you can see in the run method okay first it will go to the line 22 it will fence the data from the github first and then after that it will go to the 20 uh, line 25 process the data and then send the data to the kafka so uh and last classes of this kafka producer one is the stream boot producer applications class so this class is uh, the entry point uh, for the spring boot project so for the kafka producer two uh, produ uh kafka producer application two are similar the class and, and the entity is similar with the producer one but the difference is the github issue repository we have uh create a, a link another github issue repository so uh that's all for my part and i i will pass to other group member thank you doctor uh, good day, Doctor. My, my name is Tan Chalong and my major number is 26576. I will present about the Kafka Consumer module. In this module, we have one Spring Boot and, uh, entry point or Spring Boot Consumer Application to start the application. And for the, this issue class is to provide a template for, we, uh, for us to store the issues data. And this issues service is to create a list of issue called issues and the getter and setter of it. This Kafka message listener is to provide a Kafka consumer service uh, which using the consume method to consume the data from two topics. First, we read the data from the topics and convert the JSON data received to the list of issue object. And we, we append the new list, a new issue list to the existing issue list. For this config, a bot config is to add the configuration of the Telegram bot, in this case, username and token. And the bot initializer is to initialize the Telegram bot uh, using the init method. For this app config uh, class is to add the Spring Win definition of REST template. This template is to handle the HTTP request um, of the application. Uh, the Telegram bot class is to handle the user interaction with Telegram bot by using the on update receive method. This uh, method will be triggered when user uh, input a text or any input on it. So that is my part. Thank you. Have a good day, doctor. My name is Konza. My metric number is two S one nine four. So next, I will talk about the Telegram bot code. So first, the Telegram bot code has a constructor that is authorized with several classes. Uh, including the bot config, issue service, and the REST template. So it also has a add value size that will inject the value from the properties file. So for the on the update receive method, every time the consumer sends a message to our Telegram bot, by default it will display the message, please enter with the following comments, start fetch display and process. When user uh, comment to the start comment, and it will display the welcome message, including our um, operation menu. So when user Type for the fetch comment, you will send the HTTP GET request to two different URLs and process the response. So let's see for the process fetch request. And um, you basically send an HTTP GET request. It capture the status, the response, and proceed based on the HTTP status code. When if the status code is okay, it send a success message, and otherwise it will send an error message. So next, see about the display comment. Basically, it will, first, it will create an issue list, get and get all the data from the issue service and store inside the issue list. And it will display the issue. For the process uh, command, um, for the process command, it will process the data related to the issue, including display the active commenter and also display the work count. So for the display active commenter, and it will limit it by only display the 10 highest the 10 highest uh, active commenter. So the this method calculate and display a list of active, active commenter based on the provided list of issue. It count the occurrence of the username and sort them by the number of comment in the descending order. 
So, and also for the count username method inside it, it will take a, uh, count the occurrence of the unique username using the Java string. And next, for the last is the display will count. It will count the occurrence of the words and sort them also by the descending order, means the highest to the lowest, and also only display the top 10 highest words. So next is the last comment is clear is in the clear method it basically clear the issue data issue service data and also send back the message list clear to the user so that's all from me lectures and every good day to doctors my name is Tango and my matrix number is 287471 and today i'm going to introduce the applications of dockers in our group projects so in our group projects we are using the dockers to compile and also to package our java programs and into a image that can allow the user to run it inside a containers, uh, which means the user can pull the image and also run it, run the applications, which is these Java applications, in its own uh, computer system or also in its Docker. So for this uh, Docker, we have created a Docker files. And first of all, we have defined the Maven versions that we have used and also the Java versions that we have used in this um, Java developments. So after that, we'll copy the parent project uh, PLM files, and also we'll copy the each module of PLM and sources into the build context. So we have copied the Kafka consumer, Kafka producer one, and also the Kafka producer two. So after we have done copy all of these sources and also the PLM file, we have installed the parent OM and other modules. And now we can proceed to the build uh, sections and also package uh, all these uh, modules. So now I'll demonstrate on how to build and also run the Docker's file. And here we go. When we click, and when I click on the build uh, Docker's files, it will run. I will build the Docker's files and create it into an image and also run it inside a container. And here is inside a containers that the Java programs are already being successfully built and also being run in this, inside the containers. So for the images that we have already built, we, we have already pushed it inside the Docker's hub. So here's the images that I have already pushed in the Docker's hub. And we have using these Docker commands to push it inside the Docker hubs. So in this Docker hubs, we can, the user can also pull the uh, images that I just pushed. And here's the uh, Docker's repository overviews. Inside that we have introduced the our group, our group projects uh, applications, which is the real-time GitHub issue trackers. And also that will demonstrate how to pull and use the images. So for those users who want to pull the images, they can use in this command to pull the images and run it inside its own Docker's containers also in its machines. And that's all for me. Thank you. Good day, Doctor. My name is Unyami with Metri number 285824. I'm going to present about the producer tool and the producer tool similar to producer one but it's different github issue report so as usual we have to run our zookeeper and kafka so we find this file under the script and run on it and run on it it will automatically run and it will appear this this means we run successful so the next step is we have to start our producer so we found the producer two files and file this Spring Boot and run for it. So when we run, when we run it, it will fetch issue data from the GitHub issue API and extract the fetch features JSON data into a list of issue object and it will convert the issue list back to the JSON data and it will send the JSON data to Kafka topic. And after we run the producer file, we have to find our Kafka consumer consumer file and run run it and the consumer file will con uh, consume the data from the topic and convert JSON data uh, to an issue list so when all done run the telegram bot will be run so let's look at the telegram bot now so this is our telegram bot so let us click on start so it Will give us this notice, so we click on the page. 
So after we click on the fetch, it will uh, have data successful. So when we click the process, it will uh, get the data from the uh, issue and display all this. So that's all for me. I pass to the next presentation. Now I will show our deployed application. So to do that, you activate the cloud shell from the website by clicking this. And then wait for the cloud shell to generate. And this is the terminal. So to, to look at our project, so you run this command. This is our cluster. So we need to get the credential. So click on authorize. And then next is use this. Kubernetes logs. We will track issue system deployment, which is our deployment. So as you can see, this is our application that we deployed in the <coughs> in the cloud server. API GitHub, bear with you. That's all for my presentation. Thank you.